IBKR's Trader Workstation offers a host of easy to apply watch lists with several types of predefined fixed income market data to select from. In this first lesson, you'll learn how to apply some of these predefined watch lists in TWS, acquire insights into the data they offer, as well as learn how to configure and customize them for your trading and investing needs. Let's first take a look at the predefined watch lists by clicking on the plus symbol in your monitor panel, then by selecting predefined watch lists. You'll then see a list of available choices, including predefined watch lists for U.S. Treasuries and corporate bonds, which contain price and yield data. Now, even if you're not a fixed income trader, you may want to know how yields are performing across the U.S. government bond curve. To do this, let's select the U.S. Treasuries on the run predefined watch list to get a snapshot of the curve. You'll also see two options in the watch list, copy and add. While we'll address the copy function shortly, for now, simply click Add to append the watch list as a tab to your monitor panel. Here you'll see last prices for three and six month bill treasuries, two five and 10 year notes, as well as the 30 year bond. The watch list displays change in price and percentage, as well as the corresponding mark yield. Now let's repeat this process, but this time let's select the predefined watch list, US Treasuries All Except Strips, for a more complete yield curve, and add this as a tab to your monitor panel. Once you do, you'll notice a far lengthier list of maturities when scrolling down through the securities. Let's now add the predefined watch list for U.S. corporate bonds, which will show you the last traded price and change on the day for those that are most actively traded. The financial instrument column provides you with information about the specific corporate bond by the issuing entity's ticker, coupon, maturity date, and IBCID, IBKR's unique identifier. Small red and blue circular badges that follow the string of information offer further details, and if you hover your cursor over any of these, you'll see, for example, whether its purchase is restricted to only qualified institutional buyers or if the bond has been called. Although the market data for predefined watch lists are fixed, you can configure them by using the copy function we mentioned earlier. Let's select the predefined watch list for U.S. corporate bonds again, but this time, instead of clicking Add, let's click Copy. When you do, you'll be prompted to enter a new name, let's call it US Corp Bonds 2, and then hit Save. Now switch on over to My Lists in the browser box and you should find your US Corp Bonds 2 watch list under the available section. When you select it, you'll see you can either add it as a tab or explore More Options. The More Options box lets you rename this watch list, copy it again, or delete it. Since we want to use it, let's just hit Add. When we do, the U.S. Corp Bonds 2 watch list is added as a tab to the monitor panel with all the same information that was in the predefined U.S. Corporate Bonds watch list, but it looks a little different, and it operates a little differently too. For example, there are additional columns for financial instrument as well as last traded price and change on the day with empty cells that you can use to search for and add your own specific bonds. While we'll show you how you can search for and select specific fixed income securities in a later lesson, for now we'll demonstrate how you can add more data fields that may further help you make trading decisions. Since we plan on adding multiple columns, we'll want to adjust the size of the monitor panel to accommodate all of the new data. We can do this by clicking on the padlock icon, which unlocks the Mosaic workspace. When we do this, you'll see a green border appear. This tells you that any of the tiles in the workspace can now be added, moved, or removed, or resized. Let's go ahead and widen the monitor panel, then click on the padlock icon again and select Save Changes. Now we have plenty of space to add our columns, and there are two ways to accomplish this. First, simply hover your cursor above any existing column header, and you'll see a pop-up box where you can insert a column or remove the one you're on. When you select Insert Column, you'll then see a floating menu which provides a host of choices organized by category. For example, you'll see a list of selections under the Financial Description category, one of which is Company Name. When you select this, a new column with company names are added to your watch list and the floating menu disappears. You'll want to keep in mind that you'll need to repeat this process for each new column you'd like to add. So, Let's add another, but this time right click on a column header and select insert column from the pop-up menu. From here, the floating menu will appear where you can find the data you'd like to add. In this menu, locate the category bonds and from the many fixed income related choices, add QSIP, which is a bond identifier. Repeat this process again for payment frequency, bid yield and ask yield. 
For live quotes, repeat the same process, but select the prices category to add market bid and ask prices. Lastly, you can move any column to the right or left by simply clicking and holding the cursor on the column header, then by dragging and repositioning it to where you want it to go. Now that you've become familiar with how to apply and configure watch lists in TWS, we'll next explore how to search for and select specific fixed income instruments to add to them. Thank <laughs> you.